Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Susie Martin with your national coast to coast weather forecast. It is International Baby Wearing Week, so I thought I'd bring out my handy assistant today. He's going to help walk us through the forecast. We've got some snowy scenes to talk about. Folks in Utah walking away with several inches of snowfall. In fact, uh, digging out too for areas like Minnesota, where about three inches of snow fell in the northern tier from Grand Rapids into Black Duck. Just pretty impressive. And then also a snowy scene out of Devil's Lake, where folks are waking up to a wintry-like scene as well. And uh, we are talking about about half a foot of snow that fell across uh, North Dakota from that storm system. Quite the opposite happening, though, in the eastern tier as a ridge of high pressure remains anchored in the east, warmer than average temperatures combating with that colder air, and a severe weather threat is on the rise for the central part of the country as a jet stream is placed just across there in the nation's heartland, dealing with rounds of repeated storms, we're thinking. And this is the trend that continues into the weekend. Warm in the east versus the cold in the west. Very similar situation into Sunday. We've got the storms across the central part of the country. And this is the trend that will be under for an extended period of time, as we do have a strong ridge of high pressure anchored in the east and then a big trough in the west, uh, what we call a high amplitude pattern, which will continue to exacerbate this trend. In fact, the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook highlighting above average temperatures likely in the east with that cold continuing in the west.